Do you wanna learn how to get rich with Facebook ads and affiliate marketing? Well, make sure you watch this video to the very end because this is the only video you'll ever need to learn how to be successful with Facebook ads and affiliate marketing. Be sending the Facebook ads once people put in their information we're gonna be redirecting them to the bridge page which is that second page that I told you guys about and the way that I actually set it up is you see the little loading point um, it says congratulations on the free video if this page doesn't redirect to your free video in the next five seconds click the button below so it will automatically redirect without me even clicking the button and the good thing about that is is that it's gonna go to redirect to the affiliate offer without people having to take another step, which is basically clicking the button. But the second good thing about it is, is that it's gonna go ahead and actually um, register or fire the Facebook pixel once it lands on that second page, uh, and it's gonna fire the lead pixel, right? So the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to go, to go to the ads manager. Now there's three steps when it comes to creating a Facebook advertisement campaign. The first step is the campaign. The second step is the ad set. The third step is the actual ad. So we have brand awareness, which is basically, uh, which is bull crap, right? You, you never wanna go ahead. Um, so uh, brand awareness, you never wanna do that. Reach, you never wanna do that. Um, and then there's uh, traffic, which is driving traffic to a specific page. Then there's lead generation, which is like a lead form. Uh, there's engagement, which is if you want people to actually engage with your content. And then there's conversions. So we're gonna skip right to conversions. Now guys, in order to do a conversions campaign, you're going to have to set up a Facebook pixel to your, um, to your, your landing page as well as your bridge page. So we're gonna call this uh, manifestation magic lead conversions right so i spelled manifestation wrong manifestation magic lead conversions so that simple guys we already have done step number one which is creating the campaign right so or the campaign objectives now the second step when it comes to uh, creating facebook ads is we need to go ahead and create uh, an ad set so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually find an audience that is going to be the type of people who would be interested in the product that we are offering so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to want to make sure that we actually pick a conversion event but before we do that let's go ahead and actually scroll down while that thing is taking a little bit to load and we're going to go ahead and show you guys detailed targets so think and grow rich I'm just giving you guys examples of things that we can target, right? So Think and Grow Rich is one example. Now, one quick little trick. If you guys want to, um, now guys, you, you want to do, so by the way, when it comes to Facebook ads, the best way to do Facebook ads, guys, is not only targeting one audience or doing one ad set. Depending on what your, your, your budget is, let's just say your budget is $100 per day. If you can afford $100 per day on Facebook ads, then what you want to do is, you want to do 10 different ad sets and target 10 different audiences, right? So this would be one ad set, Think and Grow Rich. Now, if I wanted to do another $10 ad set, I could do Tony Robbins. If I wanted to do another, so the, the little trick I was going to teach you guys is basically suggestion, right? So suggestion, um, suggestions will give you guys different audiences. So what you could do is you can go ahead and screenshot this. So that way, when you guys go ahead and create additional ad sets, then you guys can tar target one to Napoleon Hill, target one to personal development, target one to Tony Robbins until you have maybe like 10 ad sets. So that way you can split test different audiences and see which audience is working the best. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually kill the sheep and scale the wolves. So slaughter the sheep, scale the wolves. All that means is I'm going to go ahead and kill the, the audiences that aren't working and I'm going to go ahead and scale the audiences that are working. Now, other ones, if you don't um, use the suggestions, you guys can literally just do like things like manifestation. So manifestation, so manifest. So I could do like that as, a, as an audience. Um, and guys, ideally, what I would wanna do is I would want my audiences to be at least, um, 
uh, 1 million size and you always want to go ahead and click this part that says expand your detailed targeting to reach more people when it's likely to improve performance you want to go ahead and take that off right because you don't want an audience the size of 230 million people i want my audience to be um, a decent size but not that size so you want it to be a around a million now once i go ahead and actually take off instagram right so we're going to edit our placements now let me go ahead and actually scroll back up here actually no, let me do this while it's here so let me take off instagram take off messenger take off audience audience network so we're going to go ahead and scroll down we're always going to edit our placements we never want to do automatic placements and then we're going to do facebook marketplace we're going to take that off we're going to take off facebook stories we're going to take off facebook video feed because we're not doing a video ad and then we're going to take off facebook video feed so what we just did there so next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and make uh, uh select our budget right so what we're going to do instead of spending like a hundred dollars per day on one ad set what you want to do is you want to go in and uh, you want to go ahead and uh, maybe do like ten dollars a day and then you want to go ahead and split test 10 different audiences so that's the right way to do it um and then we also want to take off in stream we want to take off search and we want to take off in the article so you want to take off all of those and then we want to go back up to the top and we're going to do a lead conversion so this is the lead conversion so you have to have your pixel set up on your actual page and the reason why this lead conversion is fired is because we actually it fired once we went through our sales funnel so it fired as a lead conversion now if you guys notice here this is a really good audience size we have 1.3 million people that we can actually reach so once we do that we're going to go ahead and actually name our audience so we're going to do we're going to keep the uh the age 18 plus and then we're going to do we're going to call it think and grow rich and grow rich right and then what we're going to do is we're going to do do men and women we're just going to keep it simple like that right so that's the audience name now i'm not going to go ahead and get fancy right we're going to do all genders we're going to do so guys if you guys did want to change the age let me just show you guys just for uh example's sake but whenever i'm doing a new ad set um i want to go ahead and like leave it with so i'm just going to do 60 but i would do 18 to 65 plus but I'm just going to do this just to show you guys just to show you guys how you guys can change the age and then also if you guys want to change the gender I'll just do men only um but I'm not going to go ahead and do that but that's how you would actually change it so I'm going to go ahead and actually do all and then also you guys could go ahead and um edit devices I'm not going to but if you wanted to only do cell phones right if you were doing a campaign optimized only for cell phones you guys could go ahead and do that um, but I'm pretty satisfied with the actual targeting and again guys what you would do is you would create if you have a hundred dollars per day or fifty dollars per day whatever that looks like you want to do ten dollar ad sets and you want to do individual audiences now because my audience wasn't big enough I did manifest and think and grow rich but if let's just say you were to do maybe like Tony Robbins the Tony Robbins audience may be 1.1 million and if you don't try to get your audiences to 1.1 million so another thing is I did think and grow rich and then I also forgot to put manifest, right? So think and grow rich, and then I'll do manifest, right? Because you want to know what your actual audience is. And then last but not least, we're going to go to the next step, which is actually creating the actual ad. So we finished step number two. It's that simple, guys. Basically, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and first and foremost, create the campaign objective. The next thing that we want to go ahead and do is we want to go ahead and um create the ad set so we created the ad set which is basically the audience the location and the interest as well as the age and the demographic last but not least what we're going to do is we're going to create the ad which is the actual ad creative the ad copy which is basically the text and then the headline and the link so your, your call to action links but what i'll do is i'll go ahead um, and show you guys a couple of things while this is actually loading so the first thing that i want to show you guys is if you guys are thinking okay well how can i actually create facebook ads right so if you're doing image ads you want them to be congruent with whatever it is you're offering so i went to google and i typed in manifestation and i found this image right here right so i'm literally going to go ahead and just use this image but if i wanted i could scroll 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 
then I could kind of, this would be a really good image right here, right? This would be a really good ad, ad image. So in the ad set, I can have multiple different ads. So let's just say I'm spending $10 per day. You, the, the objective guys when it comes to Facebook ads is you want to go ahead and give the algorithm enough variation. So in the actual ad set, the $10 per day ad set, so one audience, I would go ahead and do three different ads, right? So meaning spending $3 per day on each individual ad. And then um, what I would do is I'll split test different images. So for example, I might split test this image and then I might split test this image and then I might split test this image right here. So I can use three different images in one ad set and one $10 per day ad set. Now, how do I wanna go ahead and actually um, uh, crop these images, right? You wanna go to canva.com. You wanna create a design and then once you create a design, there's going to be custom dimensions. And the custom dimensions are gonna be 1080 by 1350, which is the maximum. You guys wanna remember this, 1080 by uh, 1350, which is the maximum size of an image that you guys can have, right? So basically, this is after I cropped it in Canva, and this is the maximum size you guys can have as an image. Now, another thing is, for example, what I can do is I can go ahead and download this image, download this image, and then I'll upload them in Canva, and then I'll go ahead and uh, put them at the size. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using the same ad text, but I'm gonna be split testing three different images, right? So I'm not gonna do it for time's sake. I wish I would've uh, ahead of time, but what I'll do is crop these three images, and then I'm gonna go ahead and split test the same ad copy, right? So the same text, but three different images, and we're gonna see which image gets the highest click-through rate. Now, what click-through rate means is if 100 people uh, see my ad, right? And 10, per, 10 people decide to actually click on my link, that's a 10% click-through rate, right? Now, another one, one way that you guys can actually also edit these ads is you guys can put these little headlines at the top. Now, this one right here, Magically Manifest Real Spinnable Cash Quickly, is congruent with the actual ad, but it's probably not compliant. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to just use this regular image right here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the actual Facebook ads platform, and we're going to go ahead and actually pick a page. So for example, I would use like Eric Ellis Jr. Now guys, obviously, I'm not going to use my personal brand. If you guys didn't want to use your personal brand, you guys could do that. But what you want to do is you want to go ahead and create a Facebook fan page that is congruent with your actual, um, your offer. So one thing I could do is I could create a Facebook fan page called Manifestation Magic or even just Manifestation or whatever, right? And then the next step is I'm going to go ahead and, um, uh, use a single image or video and then we're gonna go ahead and actually add media so I'm gonna go ahead and select add image and I'm gonna go ahead and actually upload an image from the folder that I created All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and upload and then I'm going to go to manifestation magic which is the campaign's name I'm gonna go to adverts and then we're gonna use image number one which is the image that we created recently so that's the image. And again, guys, I would split test three different images in one ad set. For time's sake, I'm not gonna do that. And if you guys notice, all my other images are 1080 by 1350. All my content is 1080 by 1350. All right, guys, so for some reason, it's not allowing me to uh, upload a new image. So I'll look into that later. But in the meantime, I just use one of the older images that I use. So I'll show you guys how I, did a little photoshopping just to show you guys uh, that it's not going to look like this obviously with this guy dunking the ball but um, what it's going to look like after we finish here is right here so obviously I'm going to have a Facebook ads account that is not Carmelis Creations but um, congruent with the actual product that we're selling um, and then there's going to be the hook so is it possible to actually think and grow rich so that's my hook and then there's the headline, and then there's the actual ad image. So this is what the actual ad is gonna go and look like with the actual uh, content that I used earlier. But we're gonna go ahead and actually show you guys how we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, before I even do that, first and foremost, where did I get my ad copy? I like to write my ad copy before I even, and what is the ad copy? That's the text people are gonna go ahead and see in the actual ad. I like to write my ad copy before I even um, upload it before I even start out my campaign. So this is what it looks like, right? Um, it's the hook story offer. So first and foremost, there's gonna be a headline. I'm gonna show you guys where we're gonna go ahead and put that. And then there's gonna be the body. I'm gonna show you guys where we're gonna put that. 
So how to magically manifest real spendable cash starting in the next 24 hours. That's the headline. I literally just swiped the headline from the actual offer. Now again, that is not compliant, but I'm just letting you guys know, right? I would go ahead and kind of edit it a little bit so it is actually compliant with Facebook ads rules and regulations. I'm not actually gonna go ahead and post this ad, but again, if you guys wanna go ahead and learn more about compliance, uh, I do go ahead and actually teach that within a 45 minute video in my course on how to remain compliant and how to keep your ads up and running and not get shut down. But next is the actual body copy. So I'm gonna read it and then I'm gonna go ahead and break down the actual psychology behind it. So, is it possible to actually think and grow rich? To accumulate wealth and riches with a simple thought? Well, history has proven over and over again that it works. But what if it was possible to speed up the manifestation process and instead of it taking years for your thoughts to manifest into wealth and abundance, it started working in the next 24 hours. Want to unlock your true manifestation potential? Click here. What you'll discover in this video may be shocking, but extremely insightful. However, this video won't be up for long, so discover this hidden manifestation secret while you still have the chance. So, to explain the psychology, basically this is the hook, first and foremost, to understand what hook story offer means, this is the hook, this is the story, right? So, um, so it's not an actual story, it's just kind of like the body of the copy. And then there's the call to action, click here, what you'll discover, and then there's another call to action, right? So that's the first part, that's the hook, that's the story, that's the offer, that's what hook story offer means. Now what the hook means is you want something that's gonna go ahead and actually hook the attention of your target audience. So if you guys notice, in our actual targeting, we target to think and grow rich. So don't you think if somebody's scrolling on their newsfeed and they, they read this first line, don't you think this is gonna go ahead and hook their attention? So basically what hook means is you wanna go ahead and have, it's called a one-liner. You want your first line of your ad copy to basically stop them in their tracks. So you need a strong, bold, powerful one-liner, right? So is it possible to actually think and grow rich? So anybody who's read that book, Think and Grow Rich, is going to go ahead and be stopped in their tracks with that actual one-liner. But what if it was possible to speed up the manifestation process? So this copy is geared towards people who already believe in manifestation, but they believe that it's taking too long. They've been thinking about or trying to manifest riches, abundance, so on and so forth. And I'm just saying, what if you could actually speed up that process and get it started within the next 24 hours, right? So basically, this is the actual copy that's on the landing page of the, of the offer, right? It says in 24 hours. So I just used on the actual landing page. And then I had a clear call to action. And then also, to build curiosity and anticipation, I said, what you'll discover, right? Words like discover, um, get people like, oh, this must be new. This, this must be something that nobody's heard before, right? So what you'll discover in this video may be shocking. So the whole point of this line, this one line right here is to drive curiosity, right? Driving curiosity increases conversions. And then it says, this won't be up for long. So however, this won't be up for long, uh, so that's basically a sense of scarcity and a sense of urgency, right? So discover this hidden manifestation secret. So hidden, words like hidden and secret, basically, again, drive curiosity because people want to know something that other people don't know. And then I said, why you still have the chance, which is basically another form of fear of loss or scarcity, meaning don't lose out on this opportunity is basically what I'm telling people. So there's some marketing psychology in this actual ad copy, but basically you wanna go ahead and do all the heavy lifting. You don't wanna write your ad copy while you're actually creating the ad and you're executing on it. You wanna do all the heavy lifting and all the legwork before you actually get to the platform. So that way you can literally simply copy and paste. So what I'll do is actually copy this ad text. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is actually open uh, the ads platform and then of course, you guys saw earlier where I actually would go ahead and uh, add the media. So um, obviously I wouldn't use this image. Uh, I would use the image that I uploaded earlier. And then what we're gonna do next is where it says text, primary text. That's where we're gonna go ahead and literally just paste our ad copy, which you guys already see that I have pasted right here. And one food for thought is long form copy is really good, but you wanna make sure that you're under um, 2200 characters and if you guys don't know what that means, you literally just go to uh, Google and type in character count and you'll be able to see how many characters you have because if you wanna post this on Instagram, you can't be above 2,200 characters. Now, the next thing is the headline. Um, this is where you're gonna go ahead and insert your headline. 
Now, again, this isn't compliant because I'm using uh, the actual headline that I just swiped from the actual offer. So again, I would put a lot, if this was my own campaign, I'd put a lot more time into this and actually like review the copy, review the headlines, review the copy on the landing pages to make sure everything is compliant with Facebook ads. As I said before, if you guys wanna learn how to be compliant, get access to the course, uh, Wolves Masterclass by clicking the first thing in the description or the link in the bio. I'll teach you guys Facebook ads in its whole entirety and you guys will make sure to not get your ads account shut down. But this was just kind of like a quick little training that we created, right? So that's basically it. Then we're going to have to learn more button. And then what we will do is we're going to go ahead and confirm and publish. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys want access to a current discount that will be expiring soon to my affiliate marketing course that will teach you Facebook ads and then some, the same thing that has allowed me to live in this villa, travel the world, live life on my own terms, affiliate marketing, right? If you guys wanna learn affiliate marketing from A to Z and learn how to become a Facebook as a ninja, go ahead and click the first link in the description to get access to that discount that will be expiring soon on that course, or click the link in my bio to get access to that course curriculum, which, which will literally teach you how to escape corporate slavery, live life on your own terms, and basically just be your own boss, right? So with that being said, Thank you so much for watching. Get access to that course discount. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Eric Ellis, checking out.